Hello and welcome to the episode 180 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. The Beatles graduating from small act to world touring sensation, some problems down under and quite a bit of travelling will animate our show today. On the 29th of June 1961, the Beatles, with Pete Best in the lineup, performed their 90th night at the Top Ten Club in Hamburg, West Germany. Double feature in 1962, the Beatles, still with Pete Best on drums, performed a lunchtime concert at the Cavern Club in Liverpool. In the evening instead, the band performed at the Tower Ballroom in Wallasey as part of promoter Sam Leach's Operation Big Beat Third, along with another nine local groups. The show lasts five and a half hours. Another two concerts two years later, in 1964, but the scale of things had changed a bit. The Beatles were in Brisbane, Australia, playing their two shows at the Festival Hall, each in front of 5,500 people. Previously, when they had arrived just past midnight, they were greeted by some 8,000 fans at the local airport and put on a parade to get to their hotel. Not all was golden, though. Some Beatles haters threw food and wood bits at them. Once safe in the hotel, they unsurprisingly decided to decline any invitation to any appearance in town. And now, before going on with the travel and lifestyle part of the podcast… Wait, wait, I was being ironic! Let's go back to series for a second. If you like the work I'm doing, please consider a PayPal donation. Head to www.simonmas.com support to find how to do that and how to support the channel in other ways, including most that won't cost you a penny. Thank you! And now, let's go on. In 1965, the Beatles took an 11.35 am flight from Rome, Italy to Nice, France, in continuation of their European tour. 1966, the Beatles arrived in Tokyo, Japan. Despite landing at 3.40 am, 1,500 fans were there to greet them. They were pushed away by a squad of the local police in riot asset. The decision of local promoter Tatsuji Nagashima to book the band's five shows at the Nippon Budokan Hall had caused a lot of controversy. Each of the five shows the band held in Japan were guarded by some 3,000 policemen, one per roughly three fans in the venue. Worse, the Beatles were actually held hostages of their 18th floor suit at the Tokyo Hilton Hotel. The elevators stopped on the 17th floor, all the stairs and even the entrances to the elevator shafts were guarded by armed guards and police stationed in every other room on the 18th floor. The Beatles tried to escape twice, with no success. More travelling in 1969, but of a different kind this time. John Lennon and Yoko Ono decided to start a road trip from Wales to Scotland on this very day. The plan was getting to Durness, a village in the Highlands, where John had spent his childhood holidays between the age of 9 and 14, some of the happiest moments of his childhood. They brought Julian Lennon, without informing his mother, Cynthia, and Kyoto Cox, Yoko's daughter, with them. The group stopped in Liverpool while on the way, to visit John's sons and introduce Yoko to his family. The reception wasn't exactly warm, and the trip resumed on the next day, but in the meantime, John decided to switch the couple's Mini with a Leyland Austin Maxi, a bigger car that would have made the trip more comfortable. It turned out to be a mistake. But I have to stop before I once again jump the gun and give you some spoilers. Ok, I'll give you something. Tomorrow, we'll talk about the end of the 1964 tour in Australasia and its implications. 
Tune in tomorrow to hear all about it. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.